Christianity is an unbelievable faith. It contains a revelation that goes beyond what the human imagination could establish on its own. First, the notion of God, of the universe, becoming human. The creator who sets on its course 400 billion galaxies to be actually concerned with human beings enough to become one of us for the word to become flesh, to pitch its tent amongst us, as John says in his gospel. St. Paul summarized it in the second chapter of Philippians where he said, Jesus didn't deem equality with God something to be grasped at, to be held on to, but emptied himself, becoming human taking on the human situation, having a human body, a human soul, and a human mind. So he experienced everything it was to be human and in the process uplifted humanity, accepting even death, death on a cross. And that's what celebrated on Good Friday the passion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ, who made things right between God and humanity. But Good Friday was not the end of the story, not by a long shot. If it had ended on Calvary, well, Christianity itself would have passed from this world. But something happened. The love that was incarnate in Christ could not be captured or kept in the tomb. It was too strong for that. On Easter Sunday, that love erupted back into the world, restored the minds, the hearts, the souls of the followers of Jesus, and set in place a community of believers, a community of love that would have a hope that in the midst of a hopeless world would never be quenched, would be a light in the midst of a darkened world that would never be extinguished. And that's why on Easter, Christians around the world sing hallelujah, all praise be to Yah, to Yahweh, to God, because God is with us and we have the capacity to live a godly life and to never despair, even in the face of suffering and death. I wish that you will experience that resurrected Christ in your own soul, your own heart, your own mind so that whatever agony you're experiencing, whatever pain and sorrow you're undergoing, you'll know that the Lord of Calvary is with you with the promise that one day you too will be with him in paradise.